Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE biology lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 8.2 water uptake. As always we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll cover absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. For topic 8.2 you need to identify and state the functions of root hair cells, outline the pathway taken by water through the plant and investigate the pathway of water using a suitable stain. There's no extended supplement for this one. Since water enters plants by the roots we'll begin this lesson by examining their structure and function. The tip of the root is lined with several layers of cells that form the root cap, and above the cap is the region of growth, where cells divide and the root lengthens. Absorption takes place in the root hair zone, where the cells have stopped growing. Here, the outer layer of the root, called the epidermis, contains root hair cells, which are specialised to absorb water by osmosis and minerals by active transport. The hair-like projection on each cell penetrates between the soil particles and provides a larger surface area for absorption, much like the villi of the small intestine. Inside the epidermis is the root cortex, and then there's a central vascular bundle made of xylem and phloem. Next, you need to know the pathway that water takes through the plant. So water from the soil enters the root via the root hair cells, down a concentration gradient. From there, it moves into the root cortex, the space between the epidermis and vascular bundle. Now, it's not known for sure how water moves through the cells of the cortex, although most is thought to pass within or between the cell walls. From the cortex, water enters the xylem vessels, moves up the stem and into the leaves. In the leaf, the xylem passes along the midrib, branches off into the leaf veins, and finally arrives at the mesophyll cells. Water enters the cells by osmosis, where it's used alongside carbon dioxide to produce glucose by photosynthesis. Finally, you need to know how to practically investigate the movement of water through the above ground parts of a plant, otherwise known as the shoot system. For this one, a stain is used, which allows us to observe the movement of water. Simply place the shoots of a leafy plant like celery in a dilute solution of methylene blue or other suitable stain. Expose the shoots to light and leave them in the dye for up to 24 hours. By cutting a section of the stem and observing it under the microscope, you should be able to see staining in the vascular bundles, specifically the xylem vessels. The dye may also be visible in some of the leaf veins. This experiment demonstrates that water moves up the stem to the leaves in xylem vessels. Well done, you've just covered absolutely everything you need to know on top 8.2 water uptake. If you enjoyed this video I'd really appreciate your subscription and I'll see you next time for topic 8.3 transpiration.